Okay, welcome back in Northampton again. It's episode 56 of Rate the Darts Venue. And today, well, this place is huge. So it's the Abington in Northampton. Now, this pub's known locally as APH. I only ever knew it as APH. That's all I ever hear people calling it. I never knew what that stood for. I guessed before I checked. Abington Public House. Nah, checked online. It stands for the Abington Park Hotel. Now, I don't know if it's still a hotel or if that was back in the day, but it's bloody big enough to be a hotel. It's vast inside. And it's another Green King, so I'm just going to cross this road. It's a very busy road, by the way. This is Wellingborough Road. So we're kind of, we're in the town centre, but a good 20 minute, probably half hour, 20 minute walk, I would say, into the town centre. So this tends to be a pub that's either the beginning or the end of a, a pub crawl, a night out. There's numerous pubs down here, one or two of which I've done, one or two still to do. But yeah, the Abington, let's get across this road in one piece and check it out. Well, this caught my eye on the way in, and I did not actually know what badge that was. Playing Scotland at rugby, so I had to check right now, and it's Uruguay. Uruguay versus Scotland rugby in England. It's not going to pull the punters in. So let's take a look inside. Okay, let's take a look at the board. It's a Unicorn Eclipse Pro. So, yeah, I've seen a few of these boards now. They're not bad at all. Um, as I said in a previous episode, the wires are fairly flush to the board around the trebles and the doubles. Maybe a bit more profound around the bullseye, but I'd say this is a, a mid-range board, but it is in good condition. I'm gonna say it's, it's a solid board. I'm gonna give it seven out of 10. Focus on value. Pint of Foster's £3.99. What's the 99 all about? But for £3.99, less than £4. Well, let's say £4 a pint. Not bad, not too bad at all. Bag of McCoy's £1.20. So I'm not saying £5.19 is the best value I've seen. For beer and crisps, but I had a perception this might be quite expensive. So pleasantly surprised with those prices. I'm going to say for value, I'm going to give it less than four. Well, I'm going to give it eight out of ten. Well, as I said, this place is huge, and it's. I mean, this is just a, an absolute utter fraction of the pub. But look at that dark setup. No issue at all with the shared pool area and abundance of room. And I just love the fact that the dartboard seems to be the sort of centerpiece. It's not hidden away in a corner, that's for sure. So we've got a electronic scorer. Not the best electronic scorer that I've seen, but it's an electronic scorer, so it's an investment in darts from the pub, so good to see. There is actually no chalkboard. So if you're old school, either modernize or get really old school and uh, do it in your head, get pen and paper. So yeah, we've got a board surround. It's one of these kind of felt surrounds built into a cabinet, but it's a, it's a really good, it's one of these sort of circular, cavity cabinets with board lighting fantastic board lighting to be honest um, so really good setup here have we got an okay we have well I have a feeling that there is probably behind the bar maybe only comes out for league matches which I'm not a fan of should be there for anyone to use maybe if I asked it give me one I'm not that bothered um, I do get that you wouldn't have a block of wood in the middle of the floor for someone to trip over, but 
to be honest, as long as I can see where I need to stand, I'm not too bothered about physical hockey, as long as it's very obvious there. Big holes. I don't think you can ask for a better dart setup than this. For me, it's a 10 out of 10. Darts teams play Tuesday and Thursday. Wow, this is Thursday, so I better get a move on. Wanted women darts players. Well, I'm neither female nor a dart player, so I'm out. Well, the beer garden is in keeping with the whole place. Absolutely huge. And there's more to the beer guard. The hell. It's a big old place this. So this pub is just across the road from Abington Park, which is a very large and popular green space right in the town centre. Right across the road from the pub. First game on us on the pool table. Now I assume that's just the first game of the day. And they've left the ball set up. But it is gone five o'clock in the afternoon, so who knows? Maybe it is just always set up as the first game's on us. It's one pound fifty for a pool, which is obviously a disgrace. If you're telling me I'm getting two games for one pound fifty, then uh, you know that's not as bad. But this pub is in the, the shadow of the Northamptonshire County Cricket Ground. So it's very sporting, very sporty theme, this pub. Um, screens absolutely everywhere. Not forgetting darts, of course. But yeah, just trying to give a flavour of the, the size of this pub. I mean, you see right through there, again, it's still just a fraction. There's the actual bar itself, but then it does um, extend right the way out. Yeah, I think, I don't think, you just can't get a better pub than this. I think it's, it takes all the boxes. For me, the general atmosphere and environment, it's a 10 out of 10. I mean, as far as what I assume to be a pub football team, Abington FC, that is one cool shirt. Absolutely love that. Okay, all that remains now at the Abington is check out the episode number. So, 56, I'll be going 16 tops. By the way, I did ask at the bar for the hockey. It's quite unusual for me. And a little bit shocked to be refused it. Um, he said, you know, people quite often don't return it. And it's a trip, trip hazard or whatever else. People just leave it out there. So, do you know what? I should probably deduct a point for that. But I'm not going to. The setup's still cool. Um, yeah, it'd be better to have the okay. But do you know what? I'm a very reasonable person and. I always say, as long as I know where to stand, which I do, because of the holes on the floor. And also, I kind of get what he's saying as well, but this is a, a lunchtime. One bloke playing darts himself has asked for the hockey. The bar's not busy. I'm going to return it, let's face it. So. A little bit weird, to be honest, but who cares? It doesn't detract from the setup. If so, not to the point of a, a mark down, just, just by a few percent. So, 56. That's not 16. 49. That is single 17, just about. Wow. Let's unpack this. Awful. That is intended, but that would have busted. So, wow. 
go for double 16, treble 8. It leaves. Double 4. Would I have taken that? No, I wouldn't have actually. I'd have taken that. Well, 4 darts to get rid of 56. That's alright for me, it's not bad, but it's a pick and mix of darts. But hey, in summary, it's a 10 out of 10 for darts set up and general atmosphere and environment. 8 out of 10 for value, 7 out of 10 for the board, and a total of 35 out of 40 for the Abington, Northampton. Thanks for watching.